Three out of this world games from Atari, the number one video computer system with more games than any other. Everyone's gone Atari, the number one video game. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are playing Missile Command. And in fact, we're blowing that title screen away, as you can see. Here it is. Missile Command is a classic arcade. I wouldn't call it a shoot 'em up. It's what would you call it? It's kind of like a defense game. It's almost like a predecessor to tower defense, kind of. Not really. You know what I? This is such a unique kind of game. I guess it's a shooter, ultimately. It's just sort of a shooter with a, an interesting little twist. Anyway, um, we're going to be getting into it uh, right now, in fact. Let's actually go ahead and start this sucker up. These are the high scores of the people we have to beat. I want to beat Do and Jed. Those people just bother me. So we're going to go ahead. Let's insert four quarters here and get started. So here it is, Missile Command. Um, you are in charge of, well, missiles, and you have to blow up these other missiles that are sort of coming in to attack your hometown. Now, oh, I'm, and I'm out of missiles. That one, do you think, yeah, it's going to, like, arc down. It's probably going to get me here. I'm playing this game with a mouse. As you can see, I'm moving very elegantly and smoothly. I can be wherever I want to be on the screen. Now, this game was originally a... I can't believe on the first city there, or on the first level there, by the way, I lost a city. I, I did a few practice dry runs of this just to make sure I had the game set up properly, and I literally didn't lose a single city. The fact that I lost one right there is kind of embarrassing. Oh, man. This is not good. If you don't kill the missiles early, they, like, splinter into multiple missiles. And I'm out! <laughs> oh, man. My people are in a lot of trouble. Let's just watch the death and carnage that will surely ensue. Hey, look at this missile on the left here. There's no point in killing that missile. Maybe you should be... Oh, wait. Did it, like, take out my missiles? Oh, I see. Okay, there's a point to killing everything. Wow, we're on level three, and I think I'm really screwed hardcore now. Oh, God. Okay, we're just going to leave those people for dead. Uh, what are these things that are flying around here? Are these, like, command ships that are just observing the destruction? Or are they on my side? Oh, man. Nuclear apocalypse. We literally lost everything. <laughs> what a classic game over screen we're getting here. Oh, I feel like I'm getting a seizure. Okay, we get it. Game over. Oh, let's go on here. Now, for some reason, I had in my head that there was some story in this game where, like, you were playing as, like, the Zugans and you were under attack by, like, the Glip Blorps or something like that. I'm obviously making up names here. I don't know where I got that idea in my head. Oh, man, I'm not doing so well here. Boom! Okay, we got, we got, we saved everyone this first time around. Good. Anyway, I don't know where I got that idea in my head, but when I was doing a bit of research before I loaded this game up today, I couldn't find anything. Okay, let's kill this ship. What does that do? Anything? No. Just literally for bonus points, which at this stage are not my primary concern. Oh, and I missed that. Oh, and I'm, like, low on missiles. I do hate that you run out of missiles. Because now, like, I, I'm literally just doomed. All these cities are just doomed. Sorry, guys. Used up all my ammo. Trying to protect other people. Anyway, doing a bit of background research for this game, I couldn't find anything about that background story. So I have no idea where I got it. Do you guys ever have that where, like, sometimes you, you think a certain fact, be it about a video game or elsewhere, and then later on you try and look it up and you can't find absolutely anything to corroborate this idea and you have no idea why you thought it? Uh, that's basically what happened to me with Missile Command. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if... I'm out of bubbles again. I wouldn't be surprised if this game has some sort of spacey story to it, because pretty much every Atari game back in the day had something to do with space. They couldn't make a video game that wasn't related to space. 
You know, games like Tapper was like, ooh, finally, a game that's not about space. But other than that, it was, yeah, all space related. Oh, considering the missiles seem to blow up those crafts. Ooh, that wasn't good. Oh, I think. Oh, there's two buttons! Wait, and there's a third button! <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Okay, this just totally changed the war. So each base I see that I've got, I have a button for. And I can shoot, okay, game over, game over, we get it, we get it. I've just, I, I've learned how to defeat the enemies because I thought I only had like 10 bullets, but in fact, they're far more generous than that. Okay, we have a new outlook on this event. So each of these three bases is able to fire missiles independently, look at that. Ah, so we have tons of ammo. We should use it freely. Oh, easy. Turns out when you've got a ton of ammo, this game is a piece of cake. Now, I always remember, so I never played Missile Command in the arcade or anything like that. But you know where I remember it from is Terminator 2. I don't know if you guys have seen that movie. I mean, it's a classic. You definitely should. Oh my god, there's so many missiles, even with all these bullets. Whew. Um, it's definitely a classic movie. If you haven't seen Terminator 2, in fact, I don't know what you're doing watching this. Go watch Terminator 2. It is classic Arnold Schwarzenegger, James Cameron action. You know, everyone loves those two. It's hard to find people who do not like them. Uh oh. Let's just create a wall of things to stop all the things. How did something get through that? There we go. And in Terminator 2, if you've seen that movie, John Connor the sort of young child hero of that movie. He's seen playing Missile Command in an arcade, and I guess the idea is like he grows up to be like the leader of the human resistance against the machines, and it's to show like his military prowess. Like even as a child, he's playing these complex military simulation games. You know, if you extrapolate that, that means that any kid growing up playing sort of violent military-ish games could be like a military genius in the future. And kids, all they do these days, oh, you jerk, that was a bomber. Oh God, okay, now we're, now we're in trouble. Now, now we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, <laughs> so those ships are not on our side. They literally bombed us. But if you extrapolate the idea that if you play military video games as a kid, you're gonna grow up to be like a great soldier, you know, all kids do these days is play like Call of Duty and stuff like that. Like we're we're raising a generation of like bloodlust bloodlusty soldiers. A generation of people who can be really good at killing people if the machines ever rise up against us. Ooh, bonus city. Yes. So I guess one nice thing about this game is if you mess up, because look how things are getting crazy, guys. It's reaching a, a very hectic point here. You go away. Stop doing that. Oh, and I lost one of my bases. And I lost two of my bases. Okay. I have a new strategy here. What I'm going to do is just try and defend one city really well. Great score! Enter your initials. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll over here. So I'm going to try and defend one city really, really well. We'll see if that works. Let's see where Jay placed on the leaderboard here. Boom, number one! Jed, do suck it! Especially you, Dift and Dilus. I wonder if DLS is like Dolores. These are probably the coders. The coders always put their names in these games. Okay, let's go ahead and start this up again. Now, originally this game was played... Oh, this feels like so easy now to play at this speed. Boom, boom, boom. Now, originally this game used a trackball. I actually looked into getting a trackball myself. I, I like playing these old games using the actual controls that you're supposed to be using. Like, if I can't play them on the original system or something for some reason, then I do try to get a hold of the actual original control scheme if I can. Uh, turns out that actually if you want to buy a trackball for a computer these days, they're really hard to get a hold of. Especially if you want like a real arcade trackball controller. That likes, that, that's like pressing 200 bucks just for the controller. I figured, eh, for one game, I mean, 
other trackball games exist. I can't think of too many off the top of my head that I would play for this series. Oh god. Okay, it's okay, we can lose a base. Or two. Okay, I guess we're defending the right and we're almost out of bullets. Okay, we're gonna defend this one city over here. This is our new city. But yeah, I figured paying 200 bucks to play Missile Command, oh, my, probably not worth it. So I decided to, to go with the mouse here. Okay. We're only defending the city on the right. We, we don't care about the left at all. We will defend our bases though, because those are probably pretty important to surviving. Nope, go away. Oh, and we lost a couple of bases, that's okay. We're only concerned with the right hand side here. Now, I didn't play many trackball games as a kid. Oh, no, 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 get away, get away, get away. <laughs> But you gotta imagine that, like, a trackball, that would be, like, a messy thing to have in an arcade. I mean, don't you guys think? So here's a question for you guys. Anyone who actually worked in an arcade back in the day, did you have to, like, clean up the trackball periodically? Let's waste all our missiles, because that base is dead. So is that one. No, you stay away. Uh-oh, what are... I saw one of these things before. Whew. <laughs> Those things, like, come at you with a vengeance. Okay, so here's our tactic. We use all the, like, left and mi middle missiles while we can. And we save our right ones. Oh, God. For the end. Boom. We did it. Easy. I guess if you just defend one city, it actually gets a lot easier. There you go. So Missile Command here, or actually, sorry, finish my thought about trackballs, yeah, anyone who worked in an arcade... Pfft, we lost our city. We lost our freaking city. Do I still win if I can keep the base alive? Ah, we lost. Damn it. These yellow levels are hard. I wonder how hard this game actually gets. But yeah, if you're working in an arcade, and you and, and somebody's using a trackball. Like a trackball is something that people place their grimy hands on, and they like, you know. Do you have to actually like clean the trackball eventually? Because I mean, mice, mice that used to have balls, <laughs> mice that used to have trackballs. I mean, like we all have laser mice, optical mice these days. But mice used to have um, little ball, little rubber balls in them that would uh, roll around trackballs. And if they got too messy, the the mouse would would stop working well so we get all gunked up and that wasn't that was without even putting your hands on it you gotta imagine if people are putting their hands in these trackballs things are getting even more gunked up so yeah if you worked in an arcade in the 80s did you have to go like sort of clean those trackballs i bet you did i bet you did or maybe you didn't i don't know maybe maybe they were like dirt resistant or something you tell me I'm curious here now good old missile command here it was a cameo game in the movie Terminator 2. This got me thinking towards like what other what other games out there have cool cameos. Or not cool cameos, but have cameos in movies or something that you always noticed. As a kid I loved seeing that kind of stuff. It's just bomb everything. Boom. <laughs> like do you guys remember the movie The Wizard? The Wizard is this really bad Fred Savage movie that was basically a big commercial for Super Mario Bros. 3, but it was hilarious. Um, it was hilariously bad. You should go watch it now if you haven't seen it. I'm giving you guys a lot of movie recommendations today. But yeah, The Wizard, um, ooh yeah, we got him. Hilarious movie, but what it did have is tons and tons of video games. It probably had about at least half an hour of just like video game footage in the movie. And as a kid, I thought that was amazing, and it made the movie like a good movie. Oh. When you panic, you just fire missiles everywhere, and usually it solves everything. Boom, get out of here, ship. I feel like I'm getting better at this. Now, as if I was playing this game with a trackball, I'd be doing horribly. I don't know if anyone even knows what a trackball is. Okay, so if you know what a mouse that uses a ball is, so like one of those rubber balls. Oh god, uh, no, no, go away. Okay, we lost two cities. It's okay, maybe about 100,000 people just died right there. Not a big deal. We got a bonus city though. 
I wonder what that means in the context of the game. They're like, oh, actually, even though it got nuked, we're going to go ahead and rebuild. Oh, damn it, damn it. Uh-oh. Now we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, uh, and I'm totally out of missiles. Oh, my God. that I got so lucky there. Whew. Down to three cities, boys. Uh, I don't even know what to defend. I guess the right side again. Oh, and I'm not doing too good. Damn it. This game really forces you to divide your attention. Oh my god. Now I'm just at the mercy of this ship. If it decides to fire on me, I'm dead. No, nope, it didn't. <laughs> oh, go away. Damn it. No. Ah. I, I'm, I'm totally, I'm screwed. <laughs> Man, the clip glorps definitely don't like me. Okay, we're going to stop putting my name because it takes too long. Oh, but I should have because I ah, got the high score. That is literally what my missile commander was screaming as he got the high score. Because I think he died. Alright, let's go through this one more time. You know, because I guess the gameplay here is fairly repetitive. And... You know what's funny? I thought about playing this game yesterday, and as I was kind of thinking in my head what I, what I would say about it, I thought of all this cool stuff. And when I sat down to play it today, I was like, now what were all the things I thought I could talk about? And I literally couldn't remember any of them. And then started making me wonder, did I actually have cool things to talk about, or was it just in my head? And I thought, ah, I, I still need to play a game today, and definitely want to play Missile Command, especially since I found that rad Atari commercial. Can we talk about that for a minute, that commercial that I used to start off my video? Oh my god, I... <laughs> commercials like that are hilarious. I don't know if, if you guys remember seeing things like that on the TV, if it was before your time, but like... That commercial... That commercial sealed the deal as far as Missile Command here goes. Go away, you go away. Okay... So I got, I got distracted here. They're gonna ramp the difficulty up very soon with... Ah, oh, I couldn't get that one. Now do I still lose points for that? Because there's nothing over there. I think that all that matters is if I save the civilians. If they nuke my bases, it really hurts me because it hurts my ability to launch missiles. But I don't think it necessarily does much in terms of my points. Die. Die, evil ship. Imagine you lived in some of these cities. You would just live in abject terror. You're like, it's Tuesday, here come a thousand rockets heading for us. And the missile command, they, they've literally put one person in, in charge of all this missile command stuff. And he's pretty taxed. He, his attention is being drawn different ways. And he kind of ran out of missiles. Wait, what happened there? Because there were still two missiles coming down. That's weird. Yeah, like, if I lived in one of these cities, I would just... Oh, man, that'd be the most stressful thing ever. Also, it feels like we're under attack by different people. Sometimes it's the red guys who are flying those ships. Other times it's, like, aliens. The yellow aliens are really different. Like, what is that thing? Oh, and I... <laughs> In trying to concentrate on that one enemy, literally my entire civilization was wiped out. Okay, let's differentiate the name. So now we'll be Za, so we can see. Okay, Za didn't do so good. Ah, still number one. Okay, we're, we're gonna do it one more time here uh, because I do have to give you my thoughts on Missile Command here. Um, Missile Command, very interesting uh, classic game. I was looking forward to playing this because it's like one of those games like Pong or Space Invaders that is just like so iconic that everyone knows what Missile Command is. And to be totally honest with you, the gameplay is actually kind of fun, especially on these early levels where I can act, I actually have the time to plan my attacks. It is kind of fun. I like, I like that, I mean, this game is all about basically planning your attack. Um, and kind of lead shooting. If you shoot where a missile currently is, so if I shoot here, if I shoot here, by the time the thing gets to it, it misses. So you actually really have to, uh-oh. Well, okay, we'll fire from there. You really have to sort of plan your attacks, and I kind of like that. I don't know, there, 
there is kind of a fun little gameplay loop in here. What's also kind of fun is trying to plan so these two missiles are coming together. One shot to try and take them both out. Of course, if you miss uh, that one, then that's your own fault. You're stupid. But looking for missiles that are going to converge, like those. Boom, I got a two for one, although then it split. The splitting is kind of annoying. Um, it's not like a fatal flaw or anything like that. It just makes the game harder. But, yeah, Missile Command, I kind of like the gameplay loop. Um, now, in terms of is this sort of like a game you definitely need to play before you die, I don't know. I mean, it is very, very simple. Um, there probably are modern remakes of this, though, that probably add... Like, you can probably find this on your phone, to be totally honest. And it probably adds all sorts of more complex gameplay features, which would make it more more interesting to play over the long term. I mean, I've played this for, what, like 20 minutes here, and already we've pretty much run out of gameplay. Like, if I was playing this, even if I wasn't making a video, I'd probably stop in a minute. So, yeah, I mean, it... it They've, they've definitely captured something here. They just, the game needs to be expanded, and that's just, you know, because the game was made at a time when this is the most complicated game you can make. So in terms of cons, I mean, the one, the only con I can really point to in Missile Command is that it's, it's very simple, and that's probably going to keep a lot of people from playing the original, and that's fine. But in terms of, like, is this a bad game? No, no, not at all. Um, I, I think this is a pretty decent game. I, I would put it up there with sort of like Space Invaders or Pac-Man, where it was like a very classic game. It's very simple by today's standards, but it's still worth a try. So, that's my opinion. Take it for what it is worth. And that's about all I have to say about the matter. Um, I don't know if there's any point to watching me continue to go here. Oh, but I think I'm dead, so we can just end it there. <laughs> Guys, if you've enjoyed my inane rambling while I played a match, why is it still letting me go? I guess I'm getting bonus cities. So they're like wiping out my whole civilization, but like jokes on them. Some people were like deep underground in like a bunker. See, now, now I'm totally dead. For sure, right? I'm totally dead. Yeah. And, uh... Man, we're still doing pretty good. I mean, I definitely was improving at this game very rapidly. But Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll be back in a couple days with a new video and a new game. And until then, guys, take care of yourselves. All right. Peace. Everyone's gone Atari. Atari.